Hello, my name is Isaac and I'm thrilled to embark on the journey of creating a straightforward random code generator application using the power of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. To begin with, we we'll access our command prompt. In our command prompt, we we'll create a new directory, random code. We we'll see it into our directory and we'll access our VS code from here. You can close the welcome tab and create three files, which are the index.html for our HTML code structure, our styles.css for our styling, and our script.js for our JavaScript code. Next, in our index.html, we can use our boilerplate, which will provide a standardized and optimized starting point for our web development. So we'll change our title to random generator. Next, we're going to reference our styles and our scripts. So we can use the link tag with a relationship to style sheets. Use a hypertext reference to set to the path that leads to our styles.css. And we do the same for our scripts inside the body tag. So we use the script with the source attribute that leads to the path of our script. Inside our body, which contains the visible content of the web page, we have a div with an ID container. And inside our div, we have a heading tag, h1 and call it random code generator. Then we have another div with an ID code where we have, have another div with the ID codes which will contain our codes. Then we have a button where we click generate the code. So we have a button element with an ID new code and the text new. So next we go to our style.css and we need to style our various HTML elements. So we start with the body, we give it a font family of Arial, then we specify our background color, we use a hexadecimal color code. Then we specify a margin zero to remove all default margins and we give it a pattern of come to our container class and align the text to the center. Next, we we'll style our h1, that's our heading tag. We give it a color. Then we we'll style our div with id code. We we'll give it a background color of white. We we'll give it a border radius for roundness around the edges. Then a pattern of 20 pixel. We we'll specify a margin. So the margin top and bottom 20 pixel, and margin left and right zero. Then our font size with 18 pixel. Then we we'll style our button. Give it a background color. We we'll specify the color to be white. The color of the text to be white. Our border none and a border radius of 5 pixels, a pattern, 10 at the top and 10 at the bottom, and 20 at the left and 20 at the right, and a font size, 16 pixels, and the cursor value to pointer. So next is our JavaScript code. So we go to our script.js and we declare some variables. So the first variable to declare the const call this code element. Do a document.get element. So this is supposed to select the HTML ID code and assigns it to the code element variable. It's used to display the fetched code. Then we come to another variable called new code button. Code. So this selects the HTML element. So that's the button with ID new code and assigns it to the new code variable. It represents the button that will trigger the fetching of a new code. The next is to add an event listener to the new code button which listens for a click event and calls the fetch code function when the button is clicked. So we'll do a new code button dot add event listener, click, we'll call our fetch code function. So we now write our fetch code function, which is called when the button is clicked and will fetch a new code from an API. So we need to write a, a line that uses the fetch function to make an HTTP request to the specified URL. So it will retrieve a random code from an endpoint. So we need to use, so fetch to specify uh, API dot so random. Then next is a line. Next is a promise chain that handles the response from the API request. Mm -hmm. It shows the arrow function syntax to convert the response to JSON format. We do a dot then say response, say response dot JSON. So next is another promise chain that handles the JSON data received from the API. So it sets the test content property of the code element to the content of the fetched code. This updates the code displayed on the web page. So we have to do a dot then. Then we can have code elements dot 
text content and that will be equal to our data dot content the next block of code will be a catch block of the promise chain if there's an error in fetching the code it says the test content property of the code element to display an error message so we have to do a dot catch say code elements dot text content is equal to let's put that error message failed to fetch quotes please try again later all right so let's test our code let's open with live server all right so let's test and see okay so there's an error so let's go back to our code and see where the error is coming from so we can go back to our script.js and i guess it's coming from the url so let's go back to Wow, and it's working. Good, so we have our code. So we have a random code generator working. Thank you.